Es ir a ver, es pendejo porque no, 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 no. le está agarrando. Mira, catch, catch, oh. catch, normal, please. Oh, oh now catch oh, you no, dick. No, no. <laughs> Venga, Brett. Come on, Brett. Come on. My phone. No, 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 Jimmy, what's about to happen? Uh, apparently they're doing a chip challenge, but Brett looks he, like he's a little scared. This guy doesn't even have his arm. Alright, together. I'm gonna fight ya. Alright. Cheers. I'll be the judge. Cheers. Cheers. Where? Judge Jimmy. Alio. Fuck. Where's your idea? No, la verga. Oh my god. Let's go. Pásela. Look me. Look me. Ah, la verga. Ah. Good. It's delicious. From ah. Mexico. Lo hicimos real. No, carnal. No, 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 no. Cinco pesos out. Es una. So when I did it, it felt fine. I had no problem with the mouth. But then I, I, it was a long time before I had to drink any water or milk or anything. Why cry? And when it hit my stomach was when it really messed me up. Yeah, so I uh, I did it with Brett, the last chip. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it in a Wawa uh, parking lot. Yeah. And I had to get gas after I ate it. Oh. And um, I was, the gas guy was like, Ugh. and he was like, uh, sir, have you been drinking? And I showed him the chip packet. Yeah. And he said, oh, oh. people have been doing it at work and now they banned it. You yeah. can't do it because employees were doing it and then had to go home. So you can't do it and then function. Yeah, it really hurt the next day. Like, it hurt me in the moment, too. Mm -hmm. But it really hurt the next day when it was in my stomach. I had headaches. It messed me up for a while. <sighs> Brett, how are we doing? We're, we're Honestly, we killed it. Joey. What's going on? What the hell was that? A little, little tongue lick action. <laughs> tongue action. For the girls watching. For the girls. So, I look at my YouTube analytics. There's no girls watching. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, for the, for the, the, the guys watching that, I think I'm cute. That's, see, that's fair. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of guys watching that think you're cute. Comment below if you think Joey's cute. You excited for your match today? <laughs> kind of. This guy has more lethal kicks than you. I know. Oh, yeah. I know. If there's anything I've learned from wrestling Too Cold Scorpio, which we've talked about on here several times, is that guys who wrestled in the WF, WCW 90s have some stiff ass kicks. Yeah, this guy's a third degree fucking black belt. Oh yeah. So, I ain't fucking with him. I'm taking it light. I am not putting my hands up for everything. Both I'm hands like up. You, now I trust you, you can fucking kick me in the face. Yeah. I'm cool with it. This guy is- But also cool. he's got like, he is double my size. Yes, he's huge. His legs are double the size of my legs. I have to pick that dude up too. I'm strong though. I've been in the gym. I was in the gym before here. Wow. So I'll drop him on his socket. I've been barely working. I've been on the beach drinking margaritas. <laughs> About 27 a day, so. Still look good too. Sorry, I just started recording. Hello. No, that's okay. And see, it's on right now. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is done filming, hit it again.
the right, to the right. Happening. Spread, spread the city. Yeah. Let's go, Kali! We wrestled a little bit ago, but uh, I wanted to thank you again because it was so much fun. I, so I had seen, of course, uh, a bunch of your matches with Beta tags and stuff. Shout out Beta, I love you and I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you again and I'm going to message you as soon as we get on the road. I've literally been gushing over you like, so much and I'm working Veda, who isn't here uh, right now, they are in uh, San Francisco tomorrow, so they're getting ready for that. But uh, here in spirit, that's here in spirit, yes. we did this match for Veda. Yes, and uh, he's a godsend. I told him that already, so um, I, I love his stuff, and he made me so much better. So I can't thank him enough. Oh. Halo over here. Oh wow! <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Thank you so much. This was the match that I was most looking forward to. It played out exactly like I, I wanted to. So it's, it's really one of those things where I like imagined the match and wanted it to have a certain feel. And we really nailed that, which I can't think of anything more positive to say. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, no BS, don't tell him. This is the hardest I've ever trained for a match. Like literally all week, all of last week, I've been like dialed in on my meal. It's ridiculous, so I'm like... <laughs> I'm just, um, I was like coming in to today feeling so prepared and then literally as soon as we got on the way here, I was like, I'm so underprepared. I was like, I'm, and I just started freaking out. <laughs> but it turned out well and it was a lot of fun and that's what's important, so. So, you were so shy about your ideas, <laughs> but they were so good. And like there wasn't a single thing that you said that we didn't do. Yeah, um, which kudos because he was able, like, I don't, I don't know the way his mind works, I'm so freaking jealous and I'm just grateful to have worked for him because he was able to, like, 
put everything into play and like put it out on like an outline and a script and like oh wait so for the go behind spot like that was what I was most nervous to pitch yeah. and then they started coming up for it and I literally I was like oh hey look but of course they did it's cool <laughs> It was just fun. So, um, so this is the kind of little thing that like I hope you do in every match. Like you, you, but you certainly can end every single one of your shines with switch, 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 Northern Light, and so on. Like it gets over. I can't imagine it like not getting over. So um, full disclosure, that was the first time I've ever done a Northern Light suplex in a match. I have been in training before, but it's so one thing that I've noticed about you uh, specifically when watching stuff is that you are very, very well trained. It, but in that, like, there's nothing that I can ask that isn't like, not like Phoenix splashes and stuff, but I could have come up with any kind of roll up or submission or reversal, and like, you would have been comfortable with every single one of them. Which is what, which I think, and this might be some very, very slight criticism. Uh, you allow yourself to do too much. Because you can, because you're extremely competent. But if you narrowed that down just a little bit, planning the matches would become easier. Okay. And like, there's a little, like, I guarantee you that that reverse reverse spot into the Norton Lights, if you do it again, it will be better than this. Because you'll have figured out small details and you'll know what reaction to anticipate, so you'll better know the timing. So every time you do it, it's gonna get a little bit better. Okay. Which is why it's like, sometimes counterproductive to be so competent like there's places where that's extremely useful and for a lot of like the the boss and crab stuff in this match it absolutely was but okay, okay. thank you oh my gosh i'm like take, i'm trying to digest everything i say too much i just talk no, and then i just I talk on and on <laughs> He thinks he's talking too much, and it's really like extremely useful to all of us who are able to hear it. I think <laughs> one could describe the act of professional wrestling as the search uh, of how to not overcomplicate things. Literally, you start professional wrestling making everything the most difficult, and then you slowly make it easier and easier until it becomes comfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you so much. I hope that was fun. I hope that was comfortable. That was something. Time is it's too late. It's almost 1 a.m. Real freaking late. I have a match with Ernest and Cat Miller. At almost 1 a.m. Brett, too how's late. your stomach? Great. Great. Did you ask uh, Siglo Bay? My bad condition. Bad? Yeah, many bad condition. Did you shit? Uh, no shit. No. Not yet? Oh, okay. Many, many. <laughs> Maybe after a show, many shit. Good. <laughs> I hope. Please, yeah. please let us know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Emil, what, what the is, fuck going, is going, on? going on? Tony Deppin just appeared and he's gonna jump. Joey, <laughs> I gotta finish the story of today. Oh yeah. How you feeling? 
I feel actually pretty good now. Hell yeah. Fuck What's that? It's a beer. My neck was hurting during the match. I think I was just throwing myself through shit. Too much for Ernest the Cat to make Ernest the Cat look like a fucking killer. But he he was a killer. His kicks were killer. Were they? Did he? He said I got him with a kick. With I got kick. him with a chest kick. Yeah, you're supposed to. You're supposed to get and the chest kick. And he said, oh, kick. you got me. You got me. So that I woke him up. I woke up the nice. cat. Nice. I woke, woke up, up the, the cat. I woke up the fucking... Turned the cat yeah, into a I woke lion. Up the, no, I, yeah, yeah. I woke, I woke up the lion and the cat. Hell yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. yeah. So Another, tomorrow, big yeah. freaking ladder match. Yeah, someone's going to die. Yeah. Hope not. So not who's me. in this match? Me, you, Gringo. Drago Kid. Drago Kid. Cole. Oh. Look at that. Give us a nice smile, Joey. Is that it's still good. gonna be there tomorrow? I don't know. It should be. <laughs> Who else is in that match? Shane Deppin. Mercer. Yeah. Deppin? Is Deppin in that yeah. match? Okay. Yeah, Deppin all... jumped off the goddamn thing today. Yeah. There's He's gonna be a lot of, there's there's gonna a gonna wild be a lot of jumping off shit tomorrow. Yeah. So So the settlement series show is ending, and so while the show is happening here, they're building the set for the next show. We're gonna they're gonna put the other ring as well. While and hopefully they can hang up the actual belt for my ladder match somewhere up there. Okay, though. Oh yeah, I feel great. Good. Now we're watching Young, Dumb, and Broke versus the Aussies. YDMB. YDMB? Young, Dumb, something like that.
Joey, what the fuck are they doing? Dude, this is fucked up, dude. This is not good, man. And a cage. Uh, uh, ancient, okay. Okay. Oh uh, ancient man. Do you want to come away with me? We could go back before people existed, before technology, in the 1800s. <laughs> I would feel rude shoving a camera in your face, Effie, but I know you love it. I do. I love you, it very much. This, this is this is part of it. I I was joking the other day that Tom Cruise does his own stunts. Uh, but he gets 50 no, takes. He does. He does. He does his own stunts, but he gets 50 takes. We come together and group project a blood fest that we perform once and forget about. And uh, yeah, it, it, we came up with this bleed project about an hour before it happened. Can I show the the pooling of the blood? Oh, please. Yeah, I, the, so right under the tank here, there's where is all the blood has just a pretty down. deep amount. I don't know if I can even put this on YouTube. But it might be too. It might be too much. Will you look at my? Crocodile though. Oh yeah. Do you know his name? No. His name is Big Challenges. Okay. So every time I look down, I'm facing Big Challenges. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. It's a Hello Kitty character they never used. It's upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's facing me. It's not about okay. you. <laughs> it's about me. Yeah, yeah. I gotta see him eye to eye. I did make one shift to the character. You might understand this speedball. He didn't have red eyes before. Right. I have red eyes. Okay. He's trying to get a little bit. For my therapy. Yeah, yeah. For my medicine. For my for smoking weed. Oh, we're not supposed no. to say that. Oh. It's legal here. We're in Illinois. It's legal. I don't know. I just assume everyone's high all the time. I'm high on life. I'm high on uh, the, the fever pitch of pro wrestling. What a diverse mess of pro wrestling we've had this weekend. Think about this. Last night, they had a 14 person tag match. Tonight, a 10 person tag match. We got it. I think matches should be limited to four people. Always. But I also think no match should be more than 10 minutes and, and you also uh, don't believe in limits. So no limits. Unless the ones you set yourself. <laughs> Here's the limit I'm setting. I'm only losing one more pint of blood tonight. Oh god. Do you, do you want to? How you many want to see? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I mean, those are 16 pints yeah. of blood in the human body. I got good blood. Yeah. Oh my Jesus goddamn Christ. I'll tell you this. Okay. Then I'll call Jay Marshall. Between Jay being Marshall a gay man and Instagram. in deathmatch sometimes. Tell him I can crash. Or my boyfriend makes me get tested him. all the time. I very I know the status of my blood all the time. It's important. Find a free yeah. place. So it is, and I don't think every, everyone who is gonna mix blood with another pro wrestler should be fully tested and have a full panel and yes. All the time and often. There are places in Atlanta that will give you free testing yes. if you go there. Planned Parenthoods will give you free testing even as a man. When you go there. I also think that if you're not a deathmatch wrestler, oh you should also get tested. It's great to know your status. It's great to get in front of health things. We're not even talking about STDs. There could be things in your blood that they find that are uh, getting ahead of more chronic diseases down the line. Know your stuff. There's nothing wrong with going to get your blood drawn. I, in college, uh, sold my plasma yes. the whole time. and. Uh, they take a lot of blood at once. So, so this mean, is, when you mean the whole time, you mean like sporadically. I mean, <laughs> like for, for four years, every two weeks, okay, I rode not up. Like a constant IV. In oh, no, no, no! I didn't walk around with the with the blood tank. Sorry, I gotta keep making blood. No, but they had great Wi-Fi. Can you hand me one of those towels? Oh my God! You're putting him to work. Yeah. We'll use the side that was not on the floor. I see. Oh, yeah. All my limbs work still. There we I'm go. checking in. Can you move your toes? Oh yeah. They Good can't toes. see it. They can see it. Yeah. And tomorrow I'll be hosting my own show at 11 in the morning. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. I do. I got a late flight just so I could come. To what? And have gay brunch. That is. I'm gonna save you a plate. Please. We have to make sure we get our plates early. There's limited brunch selection. No, no, no. Uh, 120 people eating food. There, there could be over 700 people there. 
So like, if you're not on it quick, we're you're not eating. There. Okay. So that's what we're and so, oh, wait. listen to this big brain thinking. Ali Kutch said, charge a little less for the food so people still have money for merch. And that's exactly what we're doing. She talked me down $5 on the price so that people would have more money to spend on merch for all the talent we're going to have. That's big brain thinking. We're a group. I'm I'm 10 minutes of a of a giant three hour show. We're we're absurd. This is a circus. We're allowed to take care of each other a little bit, a tiny bit. A little bit. It's okay. Take another hole, please. As long as I get some frittata. Oh, the veggie frittata. Eggy is fine. You know who used to call me Eggy? Who used to call you? I'm not allowed to talk about Double J anymore, but. Double Double J. I'm Double F. Doing mad whatever. Double F. What does Eggy stand for? Oh, look, it's, uh, it's not I, working anymore. Thank you, I think. Problem. All right, we got to do this. <laughs> you, you a real one. Uh, every good guy yearns. Oh, wow. And then it's to be a bad guy. It's art. It's an inkblot. What is it, Effie? It is. Gorsak, what is it? <laughs> it's warm, though, girl. I can feel it's it. It's bleeding less. But, like, That's at what gracious. point do we just stack this thing on, and push it tight, to and to tape? Stitch, perhaps? I don't know. That feels dramatic. You should definitely be as dramatic as possible. You think it's gonna be bleeding like this all night? I don't believe oh, yeah. it. Yes. Yes. You're gonna wake up. You're gonna wake up. A lot of it's gonna be like a murder scene. Do you remember at the Supercon Wrestling Show? Okay? Yeah. Uh, this year, when Biff Busick wrestled Suzuki and I just can't get to my box. Biff Busick cut himself so much, or got busted open so hard open. that in the first like 30 seconds of his match from a headlock, he just started bleeding again. That's gonna happen to you tomorrow. You're gonna lock up. And blood Max squirts. is gonna put their big paws on your shoulder and yes. just pull, and you're gonna start gushing again. Someone asked me why I would book myself against Maxi and Taylor after such an intense match. And the truth why is, you? I'm gonna be in the greatest delusion of all after tonight. There's no better time to face a literal wasteland warrior than when you're thinking you're better than you are because you've been up all night after the blood match. Oh, you're gonna stay up all night? I mean, did Sting sleep after Starcade? I have no idea. Wait, no idea 97. at all. Oh! No way he did. It's a Starcade 97? Mi hermano! Scott, you got your shit right. Love you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm here at Big Gay Brunch, and we wouldn't have a brunch without an actual brunch. And we have... Megan. Megan, who made the brunch. Hi. <laughs> So thank you. <laughs> Do you want to walk us through what we have? Yes. So we have themed dishes based on our Effie. So we have Eggy is fine, which is a frittata with mushrooms, bell peppers, and spinach, and Wisconsin cheese, because we're from Wisconsin. Daddy's peaches, which is a French toast bake, which wow. I'll show you what we'll top with. Wow. And then we have butter swim biscuits, a little bit different than the traditional biscuits, but these are extra buttery and delicious. So what is the difference? So these are not rolled out, they're okay. kind of dense, but okay. look how fluffy right. oh, they yeah. are. Let me take it out. Oh, did some of the water leak in here? Yep, we gotta fix that. <laughs> and then we have potatoes because people like potatoes. People love potatoes. Right there. Oh yeah. And then we have, these are just warming stations. And then we have vegan. Okay. And then we have three biscuits. Three different types of salsa. Mild, verde, and hot. Yeah, and then we have chorizo gravy. Oh wow. Vegan chorizo. Oh, we gotta accommodate. And then these are the peaches for daddy's peaches. Oh my god. So I love vegan chorizo. Yeah. Because you can make it be relatively the same, it's just never as fatty, but yeah. the spices are always spot oh, yeah. on. So that's and Trader Joe's has the best type. Hell yeah. So yeah, it's been Everything was expired by Effie, and then I created a menu, and then I started. I have school on yes. Tuesday. I'm a teacher, Aww. so we're just starting. I did this as my last hurrah before wow. I go back. Hell yeah! Yeah, are you excited to eat? I am. Okay. I'm super excited. Good. You gotta. So, so my plan, however, is to uh, wait until people start coming in. Yeah. So that the people who come in can see me eat a uh, huge pile of food. I know, and, and then inspired by that. I have extra food too. Yes! <laughs> Hold on, let me just double check everything. Okay, we're Wait. good. Hold on, let me... It looks as you... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just the butter. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Is it real butter? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I have a Restaurant Depot membership too, so. Oh, hell yeah. Or access to one, so. Hell yeah. That's it. That looks fantastic. Thank you, let me just make sure. Yeah, everything looks good. There you go. Okay, thank you. So behind me is the giant line waiting for the brunch that I'm about to eat right now. Holy sh Hi, Edith. Hi. I'm in your corner. Thank Hold on, you I'm, so no, much. I'm taking this over. I want to say this. Edith Surreal said, uh, Effie, what can I do in your brunch? And I said, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And this is what she came up with? Yeah. And I told her, if it goes all wrong, I only said it was a Brit rules match. I'm playing Britney Spears Toxic and we're all going to dance. Nope, nope. If that happens, I'm chasing Effie out with a crowbar. Don't ruin this for me. This Haven't was, died yet. This is my moment. <laughs> The rules of this match are as follows. This will be a contest that will be won at two out of three balls. There will be six rounds consisting of three minutes and 30 seconds in between each round. There will be a stand. Listen, it, I, I promise you it was not open, or, so I had a band-aid on it all night, had a band-aid on it. We're right in the entrance. Oh, yeah. This morning, and then I took it off, and I was like, oh, it's fine. And I even did this. I went, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I come here, and I'm talking to Sheik and Taya, and I'm like, y'all. So in your match, it's going to open right up. So and I, it's going to be great. I'm talking to them, and I'm like, I'm sure if you punch me hard yeah. enough, it'll open. Ready for the big gay finale? The big gay lifeline, baby. Wow, have fun. Demon shit. Wrestling. Woo! And the wrestling. Woo! 
Fuck you, it will always be 